notice I wasn't singing. Because I never learned how. But uh, I just got a few things in there to talk, and I just got a few things that I want to say. It's going to be very short and very sweet. But uh, I've got a punchline here to kind of get us all, or uh, settle me down. You're already settled down. But uh, I want to say this. We're gathered here today to pay our respects to my dear brother, Billy, who some people think has gone crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And me and Linda don't know for sure if he has it. <laughs> oh, I should have said I have the wrong notes. But I just want to say a few things today about what's been accomplished here. And we're going to ask our uh, brother to come up and say a dedication prayer. I really wasn't pre prepared to to have a dedication. Uh, I've just got a few things here to talk about what dedication is. And uh, it's something that I am learning more of every day because I should have been dead, but I'm alive. And just, uh, how many of you have ever run over yourself in a car? And you drive it. I did. Here about two weeks ago, I borrowed my wife's car to go get me a battery for my truck. Pull up on a high incline. She's got this floor shift and mine is totally different. Don't add it for her. Started rolling. I was halfway out and halfway in. I tried to stop it. I seen I cut up and I turned loose and uh, it ran over both legs, both ankles, and the doctors don't know why I'm standing. I didn't break anything. But I know. I know who was with me. And uh, let me say a few things here about there's two words to dedication. Dedicate something as holy as unto the Lord. There's also a dedication. A dedication is when you give yourself to something and you vow to see it through completely to the end. You won't give up. You make sure whatever task you're doing gets finished. That's what dedication is all about. You start something, God gives you an ideal, God uh, is in everything that we do, and it took a lot of hard work and dedication to get accomplished what you see here. Amen? Amen. That was your chance to say amen. This took a lot of work. Everything you see out here speaks of the past, and uh, I believe it was Benjamin Franklin that said, you can't know the future unless you know you passed. And that's very true. About five years ago, I took it upon myself to find out my dad and mom never talked about their families very much or on either side. But I wanted to find out a little more about who I was. So I started where my people started in, in uh, Pike, Alabama. Uh, we call it, some people call it Lower L.A. Well, that's Lower Alabama. <laughs> but that's where we come from. And uh, my grandfather, and uh, I run down all his history and so on and so forth. And I just got a big book of all these things. And it's really helped me uh, the last few years of my life to see uh, who they were, what they were, and... Uh, what they meant to us. But uh, I got a few quotes here I want to just quote to you today. And uh, success is not final. 
Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And we all found that out in life. That it's not the good or the bad, but it's getting up every day, looking out and say, God, we're your help. And by your grace, we will make it through the day. Amen? Amen. 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 So, uh, every accomplishment that we start is with a decision that we make in our own personal lives. And God has made every one of us individually different. Uh, we may all look the same, talk the same, dress the same, but down inside of us, there's no one like you. You're a unique individual as far as God is concerned. Aren't you glad of that? Okay, keep your dreams alive. What is your dreams? What is your hope? What is your future? Understand to achieve anything requires faith. And faith is so simple. And I want to talk about faith for just a little bit. The scripture says that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So our faith in what we do but the greatest faith we need is in God and in Jesus Christ His Son. That we don't really realize it, but ever sin that we've ever committed before, now, and after was nailed to the cross. One time. Jesus died one time for our sins. And when He said it was finished, your sins are forgiven. Somebody said, well, I sin every day. You may do. But that is not the problem. <coughs> sin is not the problem. Drinking's not the problem. Carousing around and all the things that we call sin. That's not the problem. The problem is really deeper inside of us than what makes us do things that we shouldn't or we know we shouldn't do. So God made us this way. And he is able to, to help us and to keep us. Keep your dream alive. And always, uh, what you achieve, anything requires faith and belief in yourself. Vision, really have vision. You can see it. I don't know what he, his plans is here for this place, but I believe that uh, as we dedicate this uh, house of the Lord to God today that uh, it's also for this community. You can come anytime and I believe Billy would say amen to this. If you want to come and pray or whatever you want to do here, this is open to the community and the surrounding people around. That, don't, that excludes me. I live up north. <laughs> and we're going to have to leave early today, Billy. Because we got to catch a plane home. <laughs> and we got to go to Tampa to go to San Antonio, Florida. That's out of Dade City. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a joy for me and my wife. In fact, I want my wife to raise her hand. This is my wife. In 44 years, one wife. <laughs> I've wanted another one. <laughs> <laughs> but I learned one day, She's gonna kill him for that. And I've been told by others that's been through this, that it will cost you more. You better keep the one you got. <laughs> and uh, I like to throw in a little humor. God made me this way. Uh, humor was a part of my life. And uh, I like to joke and I always found out with gatherings like this, we we reminisce and we talk and and uh, then we lie a little bit, you know. Uh, or should I said stretch the truth. <laughs> but uh, that's what you do when a community gets together. You just have fun. And I see people here today that uh, I knew this lady and I hadn't seen her since 
1963. I couldn't remember that far back. <laughs> 1963, and someone asked me who it was, and I knew uh, who it was. And a lot of you people here I don't know, but uh, I talked to a few that Billy had worked with uh, down at the fish camp, and uh, they said, well, if you heard Billy, you heard you. Well, you're same voice, mannerism, but that comes from the Allen side of the family. We can't help that. We just have to overlook it. But keeping your dreams alive, have faith in God and believe in yourself. That's one thing that we really need uh, today is faith in ourselves. Quit putting yourself down. God loves you. Jesus died for you. And, uh, he did this before every one of you was here born. Before you was born. He told Jeremiah, before you ever come out of your mother's womb, I knew you and called you to be a prophet. So God knows us, and he knows us a lot better than we know ourselves. And he loves us, and he gave himself for us. Keep your dream alive, believe in yourself, have visions, why not? Why not have visions? And uh, I met my mama's sister today. I declare. She looks better than she did when she was 40. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. <laughs> and she told me she had another sister. And I go up there all the time. Mount Enterprise, Hop, Andalusia, all in that country there and she lives in Troy and she's 90, 93. Just quit Walmart's here when she was 80, 86, somewhere in there. Uh, for Jesus. For Jesus. Well, some of us uh, probably will go before he comes, but he may come today. And if he does, thank God. That will be a blessing to all of us. I died here, they said, uh, about four months ago. I had a stent put in. And uh, they gave me a shot that drove me. Uh, I was already a little bit insane, but really drove me insane. And I followed them for about eight, nine hours. I have a heart, small heart condition. Didn't have no heart attack or anything, but I followed them for about nine hours. They tied me down, and my heart just get up. My wife warned me, warned the doctor, warned, said, if you don't knock him out, uh, either by your fist or with medicine, <laughs> he's going he's gonna to fight you. And I stayed out, they say, for my son brought a little... Little so Toby, he had a Chihuahua dog, I have one, and Billy's got one that's really spoiled. <laughs> he run up to me and just turned over on his back. I knew what he wanted because my dog does the same. He wanted me to rub him and pet him. And uh, so let's just be determined. Believe in yourself. Work hard and, ded and, and dedication. Remember, all things are possible for those who do what? Believe. So let's keep believing. Let's keep hoping. And uh, that's about all I really have to say. There's a lot I could say. There's a lot I could go on and reminisce of uh, the old times. I call them the old times. But Mom, if she was here, she'd say, son, you're just beginning. You're just a... Young and she'd always tell me. But I'll be 65 my next birthday. And I'm not going to get any uh, younger. I know that. It's from here on to Jesus calls me home. And that's my goal to make heaven my home. And I hope that's all of your goals today. Have a great day. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. You want to tell a few fibs? Tell them. <laughs> but let's enjoy this day because Billy 
And he told me not to get up here and say a bunch of things, but I told him I was going to say what I wanted to. <laughs> he asked me, but Billy, this is no telling where this will go. No telling how God will use it. And that's what I see, is people getting together, uh, weddings, I think there's a wedding already scheduled here. I want to be here, but you'll have to send me some money for guests. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we've had a great time, and we're going to come and ask, uh, he used to be the former pastor of, I'm kidding, dude. that's fine, I'm through, Bill said I'm through. Thank y'all. You talk too long and all that. people gathered up and a Baptist preacher shows up, y'all taking off. <laughs> I uh, I think we've all seen a labor of love today, haven't we? Yes. And uh, I just believe the Lord put this in Billy's heart and in Linda's. Yeah. And I'm grateful for what he's done. And I know the Lord is. And I, I, I just pray that this building will be used for the glory of God, weddings, for whatever it may be, all kinds of celebrations. But we've come to celebrate today and dedicate it. And so let's pray. Father, Solomon built a temple. It was beautiful, glorious. And uh, when that building was dedicated, you came in that place in a glorious way. And, uh, and this facility here is beautiful in its own way. It has a, a lot of memories in it in that what we see, we think of those who have come before us a long time ago. And uh, little rush arbors have been built all over the state of Florida. And then all the little buildings and churches. And this could be one of those buildings. Lord, we've already worshipped. We've sang. We've heard your word read. And we know that you're here. And we thank you for that. And Lord, we dedicate this building to your glory and your honor. We know Billy didn't do it to, for show. He did it for you. And we thank you that you're going to and have it to praise your people from the same. You're going to be here when blown the heart comes to pray. And Lord, you're going to bless in unique ways. And we thank you what you're going to do. Now, Father, I know Billy and others have been cooking. And the smell of smoke and meat and groceries just mm -hmm. got us all hungry. We just uh, thank you for their their uh, gift for those who prepared food and brought food. We thank for them. And now we pray your blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we got something a little special here that we want to do for Billy and Amen. Got a plaque here. It says in recognition 
of your labor and love for your community and friends, from your community and friends, dedicated to Billy and Linda Allen, October 22nd, 2011. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere you want to, and Bill will see it. But in here, the weather won't bother you. Why don't you give it to the wife? He didn't nail more than me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was one of, that was one of them truths I was talking about straight. I, he told me on the phone one day that he told Linda to come out here and dig a trench. Said he got out there and it's one each deep. So Linda done something. Let's <laughs> <laughs> I, I can just sit here and say it, but I went to the store and I bought the nail stories. <laughs> 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 I'd like to say one other thing. Uh, it's already been working. My neighbor Mary over here, I've seen her walking back and forth in the church. Thank you all for coming. Yeah. Thank you for coming. And may God go with you and be with you. Ginger, if you want to play us out. Piano <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. You sound good. I'm going to hear one of Dolly Park or something. <laughs>